Hi there, child care owners. How is everybody doing today? So if you are a child care owner, I invite you to grab a pen, grab some paper, a notebook, a sticky note, whatever you would like to grab because what I am about to give to you is some very, very important information, okay? I would almost consider it as an emergency, something that you as a child care owner, you need to know desperately, okay? Are you guys ready? All right. So for those of you guys who do not know me, my name is Donna and I am a child care CFO. I assist child care owners in ensuring that you guys are not paying more than your fair share in taxes via uh, loopholes for the IRS. I also assist child care owners um, in helping you guys increase in annual revenues with strategic management, strategic financial management at that to be more specific. Today's video is going to be about is a lot of child care owners receive subsidy pay from their government, okay? They may receive subsidy pay from their state as well. But the biggest issue that I see that's taking place for years would be when the state does not issue the subsidy funding on time, okay? This causes the child care owner to be in a frantic. This causes the child care owner to be in a, pan a panic, okay? All right, so if you're this child care owner, I want you to listen up. I want you to listen up if it's ever happened to you, if you've ever received your subsidy funding late and it puts you behind maybe a week, maybe a few days, whatever the case was, it puts you in a very problematic situation. You may not have been able to pay your staff. You may not have been able to take care of different accounts payables that you have um, that were due and owing and that were actually current during that time. So. How do you as a child care owner alleviate the pains of subsidy payment being received delayed or delinquent, okay? This is what we can do, okay? I'm gonna give you one gem in regards to what you can do or one key point, gem, whatever you wanna call it is important and it works, okay? Um, there will be a link below this video where you could book a free 15 minute coffee chat with me and we can assess your child care situation to see if you know you may need a different form of action but this particular plan i see works tremendously well it happens guys child care owners you know it happens it's probably happened to you not once not twice but maybe three times and it's going to happen again it's just inevitable if you hadn't experienced it you're more than likely going to experience it if your child care is receiving subsidy pay from the state, okay? So this is what can be done to alleviate those pains, that heartburn of possibly receiving your subsidy pay late from the state, not being able to pay your uh, payroll, not being able to make payroll tax payments, not being able to pay different accounts payables that you have due and owing. This is what we call the reserves account. Okay, guys, if you got the pen and paper like I informed you to get before the starting of this video, go ahead and write reserve account. You need a reserves account for your child care, okay, in the case that something like this happens. And like I said before, it's inevitable. It's going to happen. If you hadn't experienced it, you're more than likely going to experience it. But the heartburn won't be so heavy. The problem won't be so painful if you have a reserve account. What exactly is a reserve account? A reserve account is just really a nice way of saying your child care needs to have a savings account, okay? If you have bookkeeping, which you should be having bookkeeping, you know whether your child care is profiting or losing on a month-to-month -month basis. So, for example, if your child care is experiencing profits on a month-to-month -month basis, there should be a percentage set in place by your CPA, by your EA, by your financial professional, by your tax attorney to where a certain amount of those profits go into your reserve account for these particular reasons, especially, especially if your child care takes 90, 95, maybe 100% of subsidy pay. You need a reserve account or what they call a savings account or what they call an emergency account. Because if you saving a certain percent of your profits every month into that reserve account, then when things like this happens, you're able to take care 
one of one or two payrolls while waiting on the state to get their life together okay to issue out your subsidy funding that you need okay so you won't have to worry and be stressed and have your staff upset with you have the bill collectors calling you asking you why didn't you pay on time then you incur all these late payment penalties these late payment fees you may lose some staff if they're not being paid all of that you get to avoid all of that simply by having a reserve account in place okay now again I said there is a link below this video if you are that child care owner and you receiving so much subsidy funding and then I'm talking to you go ahead and click the link and book a free 15-minute coffee chat with myself or one of my staff members and we'll assess your situation on how we can get that reserve account in place and how we can start putting aside certain funding to fund that reserve account. So when you do run into emergencies like delayed subsidy payments, delinquent su subsidy payments, you're still able to take care of the main operations such as accounts payable, what you owe to different vendors and payroll expenses, okay? You're able to still pay your staff. You're still able to take care of payroll taxes, okay? Because guys, this is important. I have seen, you know, child care owners lose staff members. I've seen, you know, garnishments, levies, issued against the child care establishment simply because you know they fell short they fell behind you know and it was at no fault of their own is that they were receive, receiving subsidy pay from their state and so they really and truly they were at the mercy of their state and there was nothing that they could do so i want you guys to get ahead of the game okay again there is a link below this video go ahead and click the link myself or one of my staff members will reach out to you and schedule a free 15 minute coffee chat we'll assess your situation and we'll put that reserve account in place we'll also put a budget a lot of child care owners feel like hey i understand what you're saying but i just don't have the money to set aside to you know take care of things like that to take care of emergency situations and this is why a budget is established this is why every child care should have a budget in place because that budget will assist you it will assist you with your cash flow and it will also assist you in making sure that that reserve account is being funded monthly quarterly every two weeks however often your financial professional has informed you that that um, that particular account needs to be funded the budget will assist so not only will a reserve account by itself assists in the emergency funding um, the budget itself if you do not have a budget for your child care and you're just blindly spending you know money on you know different um, operational uh, expenses that you need and things like that but you're not budgeting as to how much can you afford to spend per month yes I understand that you're spending the money on what it needs to be spent on but how much are you spending per month on the things that you need there needs to be a budget set in place so therefore when emergency situations arise that are out of your control out of your hands you have what we call some cushion that you can take care of those payrolls like I said while you're waiting for those particular you know situations to get ironed out and to get situated and you can move forward okay without any hiccups without any hindrances and things like that so again there is a link below this video go ahead and click the link book a free 15 minute coffee chat with myself and we'll definitely reach out and I have more information to come so you guys stay tuned have a great day bye bye